as a cruise ship carrying nearly 5,000 people pulled into port, doctors, nurses, and EMTs were ready. They had to check 27 passengers for coronavirus. Most of the thousands of other passengers had no idea. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Many passengers learned from news reports and not from ship owner Royal Caribbean about the problem. Some members of a group of 27 who'd been in China within the last two weeks had fallen ill. Out of an abundance of caution, CDC medical professionals were called in to check up on them. Four were sent to local hospitals, according to state health authorities. One of those patients tested positive for the flu, not coronavirus. Again, passengers weren't alerted. Just not very informative, in my opinion. She said that on her way off the vessel, but waiting to get on. They did all that informing us during the week with text messages and all these precautions they were going to take. But then the day came and we were, you didn't tell us about the most important thing. Sue Fonte was among the thousands of people who were supposed to depart for the Bahamas Friday afternoon. Instead, the next cruise is delayed until Saturday evening. We're trying to make these decisions and say what makes sense. Now we got to find a hotel because we're not from the area. So they said Royal Caribbean told them they'd get reimbursed, but at the same time... It made it look like they were hiding something. So Royal Caribbean says it has to take strong action going forward. And here's how much action Royal Caribbean says it will take. It says in a statement that any guests holding a Chinese, Hong Kong, or Macau passport, regardless of when they were there last, will not be allowed to board our ships. Also restricted from their ships are people who've been in China, Hong Kong, or Macau less than 15 days before sailing, and people who've had contact with anyone who's been in those areas, Macau and Hong Kong being autonomous regions of China where coronavirus has been found. Is this discrimination against Chinese? We'll talk more about that with some local Chinese American officials coming up on the Pix 11 News at 6 o'clock. Right now, reporting live from outside the cruise terminal here in Bayonne, I'm James Ford, Pix 11 News. I know there are a lot of questions. We'll see you at 6, James. Thank you so much. Well, in New York State, we still have no confirmed cases of coronavirus, but Governor Cuomo did reveal today more people are being tested. In New York State, samples from 22 New Yorkers at this point have been sent to the CDC for testing. 16 have come back negative. Of the remaining six pending samples, two of those are from New York City. And then globally, we're talking about more than 31,000 confirmed cases of coronavirus and more than 600 deaths. An overwhelming majority are in China. And then there's this tonight. China Chinese health officials saying the virus may have originated in bats and transferred to humans through the pangolin. Scientists say the animal may be linked to the illness after researchers found a 99% match between the virus found in the pangolins and those in human patients. Pangolins are viewed as a delicacy in some Asian countries and their scales are used for traditional medicine. And of course, stick with PIX11 for the very latest on the coronavirus outbreak. You can also get updates anytime on PIX11.com or with our PIX11 news app. Well, Governor Cuomo says he will sue the federal government following the decision by the Department of Homeland Security to ban New Yorkers from the Trusted Traveler program. Last June, Governor Cuomo signed the Green Light Law, which allows undocumented immigrants to apply for driver's licenses in New York. The federal government is taking issue with the law's provision that says that actually they say it blocks their access to the DMV database. Well, now even passport-carrying New Yorkers are being denied access to global entry. You don't even need a DMV license uh, to have global entry. You don't have to be a licensed driver to qualify for the uh, federal trusted traveler program. It is pure politics. Well, uh, the governor's spokesperson says they are getting lawyers involved to fight the move by the feds. Well, more outrage tonight after ICE agents shot a man during an immigration arrest in Brooklyn. The community and also elected leaders are demanding to know why gunfire was necessary. Picks up as Nicole Johnson tonight live in Borough Park, where another protest just wrapped up there. Nicole. And Tamsin, that protest ended a few minutes ago. Pretty much they're demanding a few things. One, that ICE released the man they took into custody yesterday. And two, that the ICE officers stand down. 
You are not alone, protesters chanting in Spanish as ICE officers escort Gaspar Avendando Hernandez out of Mamonides Hospital to a detention center for processing. Avendando Hernandez is the man ICE officers were confronting Thursday in Gravesend when things took a violent turn. An ICE officer shot his girlfriend's son, Eric Diaz, in his face after Diaz allegedly interfered with the arrest. Since then, community leaders have been demanding answers to why this happened. And Brooklyn Borough President Eric Adams also wants ICE to explain, being that New York City is a sanctuary city. Shame on ICE. This is what we have been afraid of when we talk about having ICE in our city. The shooting of Diaz, who was unarmed at the time, put more strain on an already bruised relationship between the NYPD, the city, and ICE. The mayor had this to say on his weekly radio show. NYPD does not cooperate with ICE. Period. I said officers had a warrant to detain Avendando Hernandez and that Diaz attacked one of their officers. His mother, through a translator, says her 26-year-old son will recover, but the family is devastated. She is traumatized. She's still in shock. The family says they have no idea where ICE officers were taking their loved one you saw there. In the meantime, we did some checking and found out that Avendando Hernandez is in the country legally. He's here on a tourist visa. For now, we're live in Borough Park, Brooklyn. Nicole Johnson, PIX11 News.